This tutorial will show you how to set up a VPS server for your web apps, dockerize them, upload to the server, and run them. I am going to use the Hetzner panel for the demo, however you can use any VPS provider that you'd like. First, let's start by making a new project. Click the plus new project box. Type in the name you want to assign to your project. After successfully creating a new project, click on Create Server. Now you're in the server creation screen. Under Location, select the location you prefer. Next, under Image, you'll want to choose the OS image of the server. However, under Apps, I'll select the Docker CE image. This will give us a server already configured with Docker. Under Type, you can choose the specifications of the server. Now, scroll down and under Cloud Config, you can name the server as you desire. After specifying the name of the server, click on Create and Buy Now button. Okay, now we have our fresh VPS running with Docker installed and configured. Let's move on to the next chapter, building a Docker image for our Zojo web app. In order to follow this part of the tutorial, please visit the link in the description to download the complete Docker file that needs to be placed in the same folder as your project. The Docker file is fully configured and commented to make the entire process very easy. All right, now once you have the Docker file in the same place as the Zojo project, let's open a terminal window in this folder. Next, type in the command you see on the screen. It is included in the Docker file also to build the Docker image. You can change the hello Docker image part of the command to the name of your project. After the building process ends, let's save the image as a tar archive. This step will help us transfer the Docker image of the web app to the server. And almost done. This is the final part of the tutorial. First, the newly built Docker archive needs to be uploaded to the server. You can use any app for this step. I'm just going to create a folder named Docker Images on the server and upload any future Docker images in this place. Once the upload is finished, from a SSH terminal connected to the server, navigate to the folder where the image was uploaded. First, let's tell Docker to load the image. Next, let's run it. I'm going to use port 7000 to connect to the web app. You can use whatever port you want, just make sure it is not blocked by a firewall. If this is too much of a headache, I highly recommend using Zojo Cloud for deploying web apps to the world. It's just a click and your app is available to everyone. No configurations or setups needed. Okay, Docker says the web app container is running. Let's test it in a browser.